Hi, this is Dr. Christine Reed, and today I'm going to talk about how to graph an alternating treatment design. From the template that you've set up for the treatment design, you've got three treatments listed. Each one has a data point in a different row so that they don't connect for a session. Each session only has one treatment administered. So consequently, you've got a point for treatment one for session one, treatment two for session two, treatment three for session three. Uh, in real life, you'll counterbalance the presentation of the treatments, but for the purposes of demonstration, I've just put them in order as one, two, three, so you can see how they don't overlap in time um, and how each treatment gets put in its own column so that they don't end up on the same one. So in order to do a graph, it's really very simple. You want to highlight your treatments. If you have less than three treatments, then you would simply delete one of the columns. If you have more than three treatments, you would simply add a column. But again, making sure that rows don't represent two different treatments because one session can't have two treatments. So you highlight the data. You want to create a line graph. So we go to charts which again on a uh, PC you would probably find in the drop down menu but there should be an option called charts go to lines and we want a marked line now you can see when you graph this that it doesn't connect the points and that's because we have it set up so that if there's a gap in the data for progress data we don't want the data points to be connected but in an alternating in an alternating treatments design, we do want those lines to be connected. So the easiest way to fix that is to click on the chart and then right click, go to select data, and down at the bottom it says hidden and empty cells, show empty cells as. Right now it says gaps. I want it to say connect data points with line. I hit OK, and it connects them. Okay, I like to work in it with it in a bigger uh, screen, so I'm going to move this to another spreadsheet page. All I'm going to do is select it, right click or double finger click on a trackpad, move chart. I want to move it. I'm going to make it participant one AT design. And that moves it here. Now I need a title. So if I go to chart layout, I can go to chart title, and I want it above the chart. And I just double click on the writing. Um, I want the x axis to have a title below the axis. And that's simply going to say in the situation sessions. And I want the vertical axis or the y axis to have a rotated title. So I just click on that. Then I put um, frequency of challenging behavior. Now, one of the things you also have to think about with this is you do want it's the legend included because it tells us which treatment is which. If your treatments obviously have different names than treatment one and treatment two, you want to go back to your data if you didn't do it ahead of time by just clicking on that tab and by renaming titles, it actually renames them on our legend. So it's really that simple. Now we need to move this graph into a Word document to go with your paper. The easiest way to do that is to make sure you've selected the whole graph. And as with most things in, in Excel, you want to make sure that you are um, clicking on the right thing. It's very easy to misclick and get the title instead of the full graph. 
So make sure you've moved on the full graph. Um, and then you can right click, copy, and then when you go into the Word document, you open up your Word document. If you right click and hit Paste Special, you have a choice. It's going to automatically put it in Microsoft Office Graphic Object. If you just hit Paste, this is what will happen. It's not too bad for this one, uh, but for some, it messes up the spacing. So, if I want to not mess up my spacing, let's undo that. The undo button is a wonderful thing. If I hit Paste Special, I can put it in here as an Excel chart object if I still have changes to make to it. It's going to be too big, so I'm going to need to select it and make it smaller to fit on the page. If you have more than one participant, you'll have more than one of these graphs. Um, and so you can put it in here that way. And then if you change the data, the graph will actually change. So you need to be aware of that. Then you could also paste special. And if you don't need to change the data, you can put it in here as a picture. And then it literally just takes a picture of the graph and paste it into your document. And then it won't change when you change the Excel document, um, but you can manipulate it sometimes a little bit easier in Word. So either way of those two will work, and that's all there is to it. Thank you.